Hey, Austin, what are we going to draw today? A fox. Yeah, a really simple fox. A really cool fox. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to use crayons. You also need... Some paper. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. We're going to start by using our orange crayon first, and we're going to draw an oval shape for the head on our fox. And I'm going to draw him kind of big, or her kind of big. Draw an oval in the middle of your paper. Oh, I like it. I like that it's kind of small, <laughs> that it's kind of shorter. That's okay that our two drawings are different. Yeah. The most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Yes. Remember to practice and to have fun. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to draw the ears. We're going to draw an upside down V on the left, or right, I mean, and then also over here on the left. Do you want to do that too? Yes. There you go. Nice. Now, let's also draw the body. We're going to draw the letter U. We're going to come down and then back up. I like sharing our crayons, too. Yes. Okay, then we're, <laughs> then we're going to draw a smaller U for our fox's belly or chest that's white. Now, let's also make the pattern on the face. We're going to draw, we're going to start right here and we're going to draw a little dot. You can, you can make that dot, too, right in the middle. We're going to make this into a black dot for the nose later, but we're going to start here at this dot and we're going to draw a curve that comes up like this and then back down. And we'll do the same thing over here and then back down. Now it's starting to look like a fox. Mm -hmm. There you go. One on the other side. Now what should we draw? His tail. Yeah, let's do the tail. We're going to draw a curve that comes out and then it's going to come back in. A little point at the end. Up, yep, and then back in. You did it. Okay, now right here on the end of the tail, we're gonna draw a line. The, the tip of their tail is usually white, and then we're gonna color the rest of the tail orange. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna color different shapes on our fox, orange, solid orange, but we're also gonna leave some of the shapes white. So the first thing, first shape we're gonna color is this shape in the middle of the fox's forehead. And I know our fox looks a little funny because it doesn't, doesn't have eyes. Exactly. We, it doesn't have eyes. We're going we're gonna to use switch to our black crayon here soon. Let's color in first this middle shape. Do you want to switch and do you can do yours too. Anytime that we fast forward the video or if we go too fast and you need extra time, remember you can always pause the video. Yeah, you can pause the video. Now we're going to color the body. Down here, we're going to color the outside of the smaller U. So we want to keep this shape white for our fox's belly, and then the outside is going to be orange. All right, do you want to color your body too? Yes. Next, we're going to color the tail, and we're going to leave the tip white, like we mentioned, but color this bottom part of the tail orange. The last step for our orange crayon, we'll come up here to the ears and we're going to make the lines for the ear thicker. So we'll go back over it and just make it more thick than what it was before. There we go. All right, you want to do that too? Yes. Good job, Oz. Now we're ready to switch to our black crayon and the first thing we could do is add an oval shape right here and then color it in. And I made it a little bit big, but that's okay. Yeah. Next, let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle over here and color it in and a circle over here and color that one in too. Now let's draw the paws. We're going to draw an oval right here and an oval over here and they're kind of out on the outside. Then we're going to draw two more paws in the middle. So we got four paws. Yeah. Pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Now the last thing we're going to add to our fox is a little black tip on their ears, on the top of their ears, right here, and then also over here on the left side. This ear looks a little taller. That's okay. The next time I draw a fox, I'm going to draw the ears the same size. Do you want to add a little black tip to each of your ears? Yes. 
We did it. We finished coloring and drawing our fox. You did such a great job. Thank you. Now, what else could our art friends do to their drawings? Add a background. Yeah, you could add a background. You could draw grass. You could also draw him or her in a forest. Yeah. You could draw trees back there. Maybe even some baby foxes. Oh, that would make it perfect. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your fox. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.